Good afternoon. There were tears of relief at the High Court at Christchurch as a jury found the man accused of killing Emma Agnew guilty of all charges he faced. Liam Reid was found guilty of the murder of the deaf woman and also of raping and trying to kill a Dunedin student nine days later. The emotion was clear outside court as Emma Agnew's friends and family left. Her parents thanked police and the lawyers for the job they'd done. Her brother spoke of the loss they still feel. Um, just feel like it's just not fair. I mean, we can't bring our sister back to life. And it's changed our life forever. And killing someone is not natural. It's just not fair. There was an audible reaction from members of the public inside court as the six guilty verdicts were read. The judge has already given Liam Reid a life sentence. There'll be a hearing in December to decide if he'll get preventative detention. One News reporter Vicky Wilkinson-Baker was there for the verdicts. Vicky, what was the atmosphere like? Well, it was incredibly tense as we had to wait for everyone to reassemble. We needed the jury to come back, the judge and the lawyers. And at about 10.30, everyone was back in the courtroom. The six charges were read out and there were six guilty verdicts. Now, at that time, there were about 30 members of uh, Emma's family and her friends sitting in the public gallery. They were crying, they were holding hands, they were hugging. Two jurors were visibly upset as the verdicts were read out. And sitting quietly upstairs in the public gallery there, the young Dunedin woman who was raped by Liam Reid and left for dead. She was sitting there when she heard the verdict. She said, yes, thank God. She broke down in tears and was comforted by those around her. As for Liam Reid himself, he was standing in the dock while the verdicts were read out. There was no reaction from him, no emotion at all. Thanks, Vicky. That's Vicky Wilkinson-Baker, live from Christchurch.